Now that you're ready to begin your scant vacation, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind before you head out. Here's a good checklist to run through each time before you tow your scamp trailer. First, you need to securely hitch your scamp to the towing vehicle. You should have a two inch ball hitch for towing your scamp. The ball hitch height on the tow vehicle should be about 18 inches high for the 13 foot trailer and 21 inches high for the 16 foot trailer. Next, you need to back the tow vehicle toward the scamp to connect it. Have someone stand near the trailer and help you guide the towing vehicle toward the scamp hitch. In the case of the scamp fifth wheel, you want to make sure the tailgate is lowered in order to avoid hitting the hitch, and then closed again before it makes contact with the front of the camper. Make sure that the hitch is firmly seated on the hitch ball and that the latch is locked in place. It is a good idea to use a trailer hitch lock or a bolt to secure the hitch in place. Then attach the safety chains and connect the wire harness. Next, raise the center mount jack as far as it goes. For the fifth wheel jacks, raise the jack as high as it will go. Then remove the height adjustment pin and lift it way up. Reinsert the latch pin to lock the jacks in the travel position. While you're at the front of the trailer, check to make sure that all your propane tanks are turned off completely. Next, check to confirm that your trailer lights are working. Check the left turn, the right turn, brake lights, and tail lights. And don't forget the marker lights on both sides as well. The last step before you travel is to take one final look around the camper, looking for any issues like low tires or rear stabilizer jacks that must be raised. Be sure that water and electrical connections are properly stowed. If this is the first time you've towed your scamp in several weeks, check the tire pressure with a tire gauge. Don't forget to check the pressure on your spare tire as well. This is also a good time to check for any abnormal tire wear. Finally, look inside the scamp. Make sure all windows are latched, the cabinets and drawers are closed, and that faucets and stoves are all off. Your refrigerator should be latched and put into the proper power mode. If you have a screen door, make sure it's strapped and secure. Lock the door as you close it, and your scamp is ready to tow. Remember, if you just take a few minutes to run through this checklist, every time you head out, you'll have the peace of mind that your scamp is ready to travel. Next, let's take a look at proper loading and weight distribution. The way you load your scamp can have a big impact on how smoothly you travel down the road. Weight needs to be distributed evenly side to side and front to rear. Keep in mind that your propane tanks affect the weight depending on how full they might be. You'll want enough weight on the hitch to keep the trailer from riding too high or your tow vehicle from riding too low. The best method to determine the proper tongue weight for your scamp is this. Approximately 10% of the total weight of the trailer should be on the hitch. There are a few other weight related items that are easy to miss. Keep in mind you'll probably have some water in your holding tanks. Every gallon of water adds 8 pounds. Traveling with full tanks will add several hundred pounds to the weight of your scamp. If all tanks are completely full, you may add over 400 pounds to the travel weight of the trailer. Don't forget to distribute your supplies among the various storage areas under the bunks and rear dinette. Place any heavy items in the lower storage areas near the axle. This will reduce swaying and maintain trailer balance. The power panel is located under the right rear bunk. Make sure nothing is covering it, such as blankets or other items that could cause it to overheat. Your scamp is your home away from home, and it's not designed to be a utility trailer. You should not pack excessive amounts of supplies in it while you're traveling. This will cause unnecessary wear on the axle and shorten the life of your scamp. Pack items in a manner that will prevent them from moving around during travel. Any breakable items should be securely packed as some bouncing may occur. Whenever possible, use non-breakable items such as plastic plates and cups instead of glass. Finally, let's take a look at the brake controller. All trailers with electric brakes will require a brake control mounted in the tow vehicle or trailer. If you have a trailer with electric brakes, you will need to set the controls properly. For instructions on how to do this, we refer you to the instruction manual for your specific brake controller. The goal for a proper brake setting is smooth braking action. This is when the trailer brakes are stopping the trailer and the automobile brakes are stopping the tow vehicle. You should not feel as though the trailer is pushing your tow vehicle when you're trying to stop or that you are stopping both the car 
and the trailer with your trailer brakes. The last thing to check before you tow your scamp is your mirrors. Once in the driver's seat, make any mirror adjustments that are needed to see around your scamp as you drive. And then you're ready for some wide open spaces.